So, the people want a penny shot video, huh? Well, as long as the store page stats are accurate, this should be pretty straightforward. I'll just take a slate with penny shot into the firing range, and I'll test the damage. If the effective range is 16 meters, then that must mean I'll be doing good damage at 12 meters. Oh, this is going to be a lot of work, isn't it? When it comes to determining the one-hit kill range of a shotgun, there are three shotgun stats worth noting. Damage, effective range, and spread. At best, these numbers are misleading. So let's break down what they actually mean. In the store page, damage claims to be the average damage at 10 meters center of mass. However, if I take this penny shot terminus with a damage value of 187 and shoot the dummy at 10 meters, I get a damage value of 76 or 150 or zero. The damage stat and the effective range stat both suffer from the same problem. They assume that you are shooting your enemy through a lead pipe with perfect pellet accuracy. Theoretically, if you were incredibly lucky, the effective range stat would be the maximum range where you could one-shot hunters to the upper torso. In practice, these stats can be off by nearly 50%. So if those two stats are inaccurate, how about the spread stat? Well, since this stat is based on crosshair size only, it too is useless. The pellet spread on shotguns doesn't actually correlate with the crosshair at all. For example, this is the pellet spread of the Spectre with a crosshair spread value of 60, and this is the spread of the Romero hand cannon with a spread value of 100. Now, you're probably asking yourself, if all of these stats are inaccurate, how could I ever know how to compare shotguns? Well, in a recent update, the developers put in an extra hidden tooltip on the stat page that is guaranteed to give you the most accurate information about a hunt showdown. I and at least 3,000 other people can attest to its accuracy. It's a little corny, isn't it? Let's start with Buckshot so we have a baseline before moving over to Penny Shot. Buckshot fires 14 pellets in a spread pattern dependent on the shotgun. On screen now are the spread comparisons for each shotgun. Note how much tighter the spread is in comparison to the crosshairs. These pellet spreads were created by firing three shots towards a wall at 7 meters. The link in the description contains an image with all of these spreads laid out. The penetration values for Buckshot are the lowest in the game, only able to penetrate one wooden wall, so keep that in mind. Damage multipliers for shotguns are different from most weapons, with only a 1.5 times damage multiplier to the head, and near identical upper and lower torso values at 1.3 times and 1.2 times, respectively. Since the damage increase to the head is only 15%, you will actually lose damage at most ranges when aiming for the much smaller head hitbox. Your best bet is to aim at the upper torso of a hunter. Do note that while there is a lower damage multiplier on the arms and the legs, limb penetration prevents arms from blocking torso shots. Let's go back to the effective range stat. Since we know that this range only matters when the pellet spread is incredibly lucky, or firing through a lead pipe, there are two shotgun ranges you should know instead. Guaranteed one-shot kills, and chanced one-shot kills. Let's first go over your guaranteed one-shot kills. Obviously, the tighter spread guns, such as the Romero and the Spectre, have farther guaranteed one-shot ranges. Surprisingly, the new drilling shotgun performs worse than the Romero hand cannon, but I think this might be a glitch. I'll touch on this more in the comparison section. Now let's go over the luck-based one-shot kills. This chart plots the chance for a one-shot kill at range. Any value less than 100%, but greater than 0%, means that whenever you target a hunter in that range, you are rolling the dice on a one-shot kill. If you're the kind of person to get nauseous when they see a spreadsheet, the quick rundown is that shotguns typically have 2 to 3 meters past their guaranteed one-shot kill range, where there is a chance that they will kill in one shot. This chance decreases with range out to the store page effective range, where it drops to 0%. If you're on the opposite side of the spectrum and love spreadsheets and data, there is a link in the description below to not only the values in this spreadsheet, but to my data collection methods as well. Let's finish the buckshot portion of this video with the two-shot kill ranges for shotguns. On screen is an approximate range where you will score two-shot kills with applicable shotguns. Due to the nature of random spread at longer ranges, each value should be given an allowance of plus or minus one meter. Before we compare penny shot to buckshot, I want to quickly give a shout out to the users in my Discord. Without their help, this video would not be possible. I had at least 12 people volunteer some of their free time to help collect data for this video, with some staying for over two hours. Not only do we collect the data that you now see in this video, but we had fun while we did it. 
If helping me test hunt shutdown mechanics is something that interests you, or if you're just tired of playing with randoms, swing by my Discord. Link is in the description. Now, on to Penny Shot. Penny Shot is an alternate ammo type for shotguns that trades reliability at range for higher base damage. Against monsters and bosses, which have higher base HP, Penny Shot performs quite well. However, for enemy hunters, this extra damage rarely comes into play. So what are the trade-offs for Penny Shot? Penny Shot shoots 5 pellets instead of Buckshot's 14. At point blank range, the pennies add up to more total damage than Buckshot, however at longer ranges, they lose their damage value sooner than Buckshot. Penny Shot also loses the ability to penetrate any walls whatsoever, including the lining of explosive barrels. The effective range stat increases by a significant amount, 2-3 meters on average, but remember that's only the theoretical one-shot range. This is important to note because the spread on Penny Shot is much higher than Buckshot, and here is where the real downside of Penny Shot reveals itself. As you can see, Penny Shot spread is significantly higher on all shotguns. The higher spread, coupled with the lower pellet count, means your shots will be very inconsistent compared to Buckshot. This erratic spread is the reason that you will hear wild stories of someone being one-tapped by Penny Shot at 18 meters, but also the reason for completely whiffed shots, such as the slate clip in the intro. If you're interested in looking at these spreads a bit more, I've developed a tool that will let you compare shotgun spreads, which you can also find in my Discord server. Let's pause at the drilling real quick, because this one is an outlier. As you can see here, the spread on the Buckshot version is actually slightly wider than the Penny Shot version, and it is the only Buckshot spread to go significantly outside the crosshair. Additionally, for a long barrel shotgun, it has a lower one-shot range than both the Rival and the Romero hand cannon. Meanwhile, the Penny Shot spread is suspiciously tight compared to other shotguns. I could be mistaken, but it almost seems as if the spread values for Penny Shot and Buckshot were mistakenly swapped when designing this weapon. Let me know in the comments if you think this was intentional. Moving on to the guaranteed one-hit kill range for Penny Shot, you can see the consequences of its erratic spread. All of the ranges are between 3 to 5 meters less than Buckshot's guaranteed one-shot range, and the chance to one-shot past the guaranteed range doesn't look good either. The condensed version of the spreadsheet is that Penny Shot will only outperform Buckshot's one-shot kill ranges at best 15% of the time, but on average less than 5% of the time. The two shot ranges don't look any better. Due to the inconsistency of the spread, when you get a hit marker with Penny Shot, you have no idea how much damage you could have done. It can range anywhere from 147 to 9. Standard two shot kills will often turn into three or even four shot kills. If you're looking for a consistent two shot kill, try Flechette, because Penny Shot is not it. So, what's the main takeaway from this comparison? Unless you have impossible luck, there is no situation where Penny Shot outperforms Buckshot in PvP. So when should you use Penny Shot? There are only two scenarios that I can think of. One is if you're uncomfortable with your aim, Penny Shot is easier to use in close quarters combat. Think of it as training wheels. It's worse in every way to buckshot, but if your aim is questionable at close range, this will alleviate some of those issues. I'll warn you though that even up close, a one shot with Penny Shot is not guaranteed, and Penny Shot can create bad aim habits that won't translate to other guns. The only other conceivable use for Penny Shot is to split it with another ammo type in the Romero to kill bosses slightly faster. So that's it. Next time your friend swears that Terminus Penny Shot is OP, you can refer them to this video. And if you still think Penny Shot is better after watching this far, this is all I've got for you. If you're still here, thanks for sticking around. My next analysis video will be on smaller concepts that are interesting on their own, but don't deserve a full video. Sort of like a Mythbusters episode. If you've got something you'd like me to test, leave it down in the comments. I might also do a more laid back video before my next analysis video, so let me know if my opinion on the current state of Hunt Showdown is something you're interested in. Until then, take care. He's bleeding hard. Yo, bleeding, boy! Yo, bleeding, boy! And yo, flash, boy! <laughs> GG's. <laughs> yeah, that was uh...